I'm gonna ask you some questions about energy. So, first of all, have you heard of energy and do you have any idea of what it is and where it's stored? I guess it's a power. Power? Okay. I guess I know it's, um, it makes a part of our world and okay. there's also like electric energy. Okay. We people provide energy. Energy is the sort of thing that like powers everything and it's kind of like, I think of like movement, energy. Okay. Okay, those are pretty good guesses, but let's see what they have to say about this experiment. This experiment has many names. Jumping sticks, cobra weave, popsicle stick chain reaction. It's very simple. It consists of weaving popsicle sticks in such a way that this happens. So now that I showed you the video, why do you think this happened? Um, well, I think this happened because the sticks, the wooden stick things, were like really tense okay. and tightly stuck together. Okay. And so maybe you gave them like a little push or something and then that kind of like set off. Okay. Um, I think that when you like it lift up, I think um, it's because this one push like sent everything go. Like, like, the, the, okay, like dominoes. Dom Movements. You gave it like the starting power. Okay, wait. Before we talk about our experiment, let's go back to the first question. What is energy? Where does it come from? And where is it located? There are many sources of energy. Wind, sun, water, and even our muscles. Energy is all around us, and it's part of us. It's everywhere. Our universe is made of energy, and without it, we would simply not exist. Energy can't be created or destroyed. It can only be stored or transferred. You may have heard some specific types of energy, but let's take a closer look. So what are the different types or forms of energy? Well, first, it's important to know that all forms of energy fall under two main categories. Kinetic energy, which is energy in motion, motion of waves, electrons, atoms, molecules, and substances, and potential energy, which is stored energy, and energy in position in some cases. Next, here are the more specific types of energy. In kinetic energy, there's electrical energy, the movement of electrical charges, radiant energy, which is electromagnetic energy like solar energy, light, x-ray, or radio waves, thermal energy, which is heat energy, motion energy, which is movement of object or substance, and sound energy, which is by definition the movement of energy through substances and waves. For potential energy, there's chemical energy, which is energy stored in the bonds of atoms or molecules, nuclear energy, which is the energy that holds together the nuclei of atoms, elastic energy, which is energy stored through the application of a force, and gravitational energy, which is the energy of a position or place. We're here in the Pantheon of Paris, in which is displayed one of the most extraordinary experiments of all time, the Foucault Pendulum. In 1851, Napoleon III asked Foucault to display his experiment about the rotation of the Earth in the Pantheon. Although we aren't going to study the rotation of the Earth, this pendulum is a perfect example of potential and kinetic energy. When you first drag the pendulum upwards, it has a certain amount of potential energy. When it is released, the potential energy gets converted into kinetic energy. As the pendulum moves back and forth, kinetic energy is converted in potential energy, and the potential energy gets converted into kinetic energy, and so on and so forth. Here are some more common examples of transferred energy. Right now, this book has gravitational potential energy. And when I let go, it becomes kinetic energy. Here, I'm using the potential energy from my muscles to throw the ball, hence transferring it into kinetic energy. This stretched rubber band has elastic potential energy. When I let go, it gets transferred into kinetic energy, making it fly off my finger. Here, I turn the crank, which in turn tightens the spring inside this little guy. When I let go of the crank, the coil's built-up potential energy converts to kinetic energy, making him jump. 
so now you know all that stuff um as you said before you were pretty spot on but more specifically what what kind of energy do you think was in my experiment in the beginning and then what was at the end i think in the beginning it was potential energy and then in the end there was kinetic energy potential no maybe the, the other one kinetic energy? because you move it which one do you think it was when i didn't move the stick yet it's potential when when i didn't touch it what do you think it was i'd say it was potential okay and when i let go it was it became kinetic so how and why do these sticks jump up or explode like they do? Is it because I set something off? Well, not exactly. If you take a closer look at what happened, perhaps it'll make more sense. The key to this chain reaction is how I wove these sticks together in relationship with energy. Each popsicle stick is bent over the stick before it and pinned under the stick before that, creating tension in the wood. Here, you can see the tenseness of the sticks. When you finally have the chain length that you want, you let go and all of the tension or potential energy is released in a chain reaction of kinetic energy. Here's a more detailed explanation on how this chain reaction was made. In the beginning, you must put the two first sticks in an X shape. Then put the third stick under the first stick and over the second stick. Then, put the fourth stick under the first stick and over the third stick, and so on and so forth, until you reach the length of chain that you want. So, as I weave my chain of sticks, I am continually building more and more potential energy. That's why when you build the experiment, it is essential not to let go of the front part of the chain that you are working on. If you do, the potential energy will immediately be transferred into kinetic energy. But then, why doesn't the beginning of the chain explode? Well, that's because you can block the ends of your chain with a stick like this. That's what I was removing, and that's why we started off with an X shape. Here's an example. Currently, this is just a chain of stored energy. But when I release it, boom! So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Don't forget to drop a like, subscribe, and check out this channel for more awesomeness.